going on guys? Dave with Heights K9. We're gonna do a quick video here on common misconceptions with socialization. I just finished up a uh, phone consult with somebody who was dropping their dog off for a three week board and train with us. Uh, and they've done a lot of socialization thinking they were doing the right thing with this dog, but actually they were likely hurting things. They were likely doing too much socialization. So that's the concept. A lot of people overdo socialization, right? So we get a new dog, whether it's a puppy, whether it's a rescue dog, whether it's, you know, whatever it may be. And we think, okay, cool. Our dog needs to socialize with everything. We need to have every person we meet touching them. We need to have every dog we meet interacting with them and they need to have just socialization, socialization, socialization. And what happens is if you get a dog that's genetically predisposed to having some anxiety issues or some fear issues, or just maybe a little timid in general, by overdoing it too much like that, we actually set them back. So some dogs can handle it, right? Sometimes we get genetically really stable dogs that we could take them anywhere, we could have anybody interact with them, and they're just great. They love it, they socialize, they're fine. But other dogs, when we're trying to improve on socialization uh, skills with them, with other dogs or people, having them get just smothered and just, just you know, overthrown with all of this socialization, it could really set them back a lot, right? So if we're constantly having people come up and intrude on their space and intrude on their space and intrude on their space, and we're not doing anything for them, we're not advocating for them in the way that they need, being seeing that they're stressed out by it, they're gonna start taking matters into their own hands, right? They're gonna start reacting, and that could be a bark, that could be a growl, that could be a snip, it could be whatever it may be. And once they start that cycle and realize that that behavior gets them what they want, which is getting that other person to go away, it self reinforces itself, right? So that behavior becomes stronger and stronger and they start feeling more confident that they can do that and make that other person go away. So a couple of tips, how to reverse this. When you get a new dog, when you get a new puppy, as you're learning about what their social skills are like, take it slow. Focus on coexistence initially, right? If you're gonna be somewhere where there's a lot of dogs or people around or anything like that, you have to make sure that you're working at their pace. Focus on the coexistence of it. Focus on them just existing in the presence of those other things. And make sure that when you are socializing them to those new triggers, we're working slow and we're making sure that we're advocating when the dog is stressed out. Catch things before they feel like they need to react on their own, right? If your dog starts noticing stressed out, step in and tell the person, hey, you know, I think, I think he's having too much at this point, right? Show the dog that we're controlling the environment and we're making these stressors go away so they don't feel like they have to. It's gonna build their confidence in you. It's gonna make them realize that you have control over the environment so that they don't have to, you know, stress so much. They'll see you as more of a leader figure uh, in those areas and you'll be able to actually improve on those social skills in the way that we need to. Uh, the last tip with it, make sure that when you are socializing to all of these things, if you are gonna have your puppy or your new dog, whatever it is, interacting with new people or dogs, you gotta make sure that you're doing it in a typical social manner, right? So absolutely no on-leash greetings. On-leash greetings takes away any ability for the dog to flee if they get stressed out. Even if they're on a six-foot leash, four-foot leash, and they do have a little bit of a radius, they don't feel like they can move anywhere, right? They don't feel like they can get away if they get stressed out. So make sure in those situations where you are gonna have them interact, leashes dropped, right? They have the ability to move around as they need to. We're advocating for them appropriately and we're moving them in the right direction. So this comes down to just knowing your dog to the best of your abilities, right? Not all dogs are the most social butterflies in the world and some dogs need things a little bit differently. Um, we have to understand our dog's needs and understand what they need in order to improve in those socialization skills. So probably a little bit longer than a quick tip, but whatever. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, hit it up in the comments below.